Hi YouTube, this is Matt McIntosh and this video I'm going to show you how you can go about using Decimation Master to actually uh, get your mesh into a, a format that you can then start doing some retopology with. So as we can see from this character, there is quite a lot of polygons going on in this mesh. Um, I've got 1.3 million uh, polys as we can see. Uh, thing is, if you take that into 3ds Max in its current state, you will actually see that it's close to uh, 2.6 million polys. So that's a bit unworkable. And what you actually need is a lot less than that. So one of the tools that ZBrush has provided is under the Z plugin feature. Now it's under this section called Decimation Master. And what you can do is you can pre-process your entire mesh uh, or per uh, subtool um, so that it can then calculate getting rid of a number of polys. Now to make life a little bit easier what you might want to do is actually look at where the mesh is not visible because you're just wasting time uh, building in those polys. So what I'd recommend that you do is if you press Control and shift you get the uh, highlight or the um, selecting tools and I tend to use the lasso tool um, what I tend to do with each of my uh, various sub tools is go down them and basically hide any of the geometry that isn't visible and the reason for that is that when it starts doing its conversion it doesn't take those things into account so I'm just going to get rid of the section on the back here so okay and then this section on the front as well and I'm doing this on a high res version because if I do it on the lower res after I've decimated it all that's going to happen is I'm going to end up with nasty edges that can leave holes in the mesh so I'm just going to get rid of these bits here and a little bit more on the shoulder Okay, so that's, that has actually trimmed out quite a substantial amount, uh, you know, nearly 400,000 polys. So I'm going to get rid of that geometry that I've just hidden. So if I go to where it says uh, geometry, I'm going to delete the lower subdivisions because I don't want those in there. Uh, where it says uh, modify topology and then use the delete hidden button. And that will get rid of that geometry. Now it should actually calculate this model a lot faster than what I had before. So I'm just going to isolate the uh, mesh on its own so that we can see it. And then Z plugin. Now, if I go to my decimation master, it's currently saying I want to calculate it to 20% of its current value. Well, I'm going to push it a bit lower than that. I'm going to go to about 5%. And I'm going to pre-process the current tool. And what it does is, uh, the, the larger the mesh, the longer it will actually take to calculate that information across the top here. Um, and as we can see, this is kind of powering through it quite effectively. Once it's calculated it, it will then allow you to actually decimate the current tool. And what we can see is that it's kept most of the uh, shape appropriately um, there is some kind of faceted edging going on in the ears but if i was to turn the wireframe on you can see that it's now hacked it down to quite a substantial uh, change so it's currently at about 50,000 polys so taking that into 3ds max it's still going to be 100,000 so what i'd be looking at doing again is maybe giving it a second pass not as low as 5%, maybe something about 25%. And what we should see when I pre-process this is it does it a lot faster because it's got less geometry to work with. So that's already pro processed it. And if I go to Z plugin, decimate current, what that has done is it's knocked it down to 12,000, well, 12 and a half. So we'd have 25,000 polys just for this head if we were to take that over into 3ds max but as you can see the polys that we've got are a lot more kind of um, messed up in their appearance but they're still keeping the same shape now 
even though this has got faceted edging going on, it's keeping the appropriate shape that we're after. So if your model's looking like this, you should still be able to retop over it because you're only after the overall form of the thing. Um, so don't be too worried about it looking a bit too faceted in this sort of format. Now to get it into a 3D program, just go to where it says export, choose the name that you want to work with and then click on save and that will do what you need it to. And you're going to need to do that with pretty much every single tool that you've got in your uh, subtool directory. Now you can go through and merge them down and try to calculate everything at once, but just remember the larger the poly count that you've got, the longer it will take to do the decimation. Okay, hopefully that's been of use. Um, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe to my channel and keep an eye out for future updates. Thanks for watching.